Troubleshooting Roku Remote Syncing Without Wi-Fi Hello, everyone. Today we are going to be talking about a very important topic, how to troubleshoot issues with syncing your Roku remote when you don't have Wi-Fi. Now, you might think that without Wi-Fi, you're stuck, but there are some steps you can take to get things working again. Why isn't your Roku remote syncing? Roku remotes work using either infrared, IR, or radio frequency, RF. If your remote uses RF, it needs to be paired with your Roku device. Sometimes, this pairing can get disrupted. On the other hand, an IR remote doesn't need to be paired but has to have a clear path to the Roku device to function correctly. Check your remote type. First things first. Identify if your remote uses RF or IR technology. RF remotes have a pairing button in the battery compartment. If you don't see a pairing button, it's an IR remote. Troubleshooting RF remotes. If your RF remote is not working, here are the steps to troubleshoot it. 1. Restart your Roku device and remote by removing and replacing the batteries in the remote and unplugging the Roku device from the power source then plugging it back in after a few moments. 2. Try re-pairing your remote by pressing and holding the pairing button inside the battery compartment of the remote for 3 seconds or until the pairing light starts flashing on the remote. Remember, a stable internet connection is not needed to pair an RF remote with a Roku device. Troubleshooting IR Remotes If your remote uses IR technology, 1. Ensure there are no obstructions between the remote and the Roku device. 2. Try replacing the batteries in the remote. 3. Lastly, try moving closer to your Roku device as the range of IR remotes can be shorter than RF remotes. That's all there is to it. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot any issues you have with syncing your Roku remote, even without Wi-Fi. Remember, your Roku device is designed to function effectively and resolve minor hiccups like these. However, if you're still facing issues, it might be time to contact Roku support or consider getting a new remote. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.